I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dishes in the entire world. It's my blended beef and mushroom chili with a cornbread topping. Baked in the oven, really delicious. Now it's simple to make and it has one of my favorite ingredients. This is the secret tip, the mushroom. Did you know that you can chop up the mushrooms, blend them with the beef, not only do you get great flavor, but you also get some nutrition and moisture, juiciness, all the things we love. Now with the mushroom, these are regular button mushrooms, the trick is to just chop them up nice and small. Slice them all the way through like this. What you're looking for is the size and shape of the mince. Now that's about the size you want to get it to, about the size of minced meat, and then grab it and throw it on the top here. And a great way to work out the ratio of mushrooms to beef is pop it on a plate like this. You can see I've got about 50% beef to mushrooms, that's the way I like it. You can add more mushrooms if you like, you can add more beef if you like, but I reckon 50-50 is the perfect way to do it. Now here's the next thing you need to do. It's a simple process of just adding some oil to the bottom of your pan. Now what I like to do is start off with some onion and garlic. I'll pop that into the pan there like that and I've just chopped the onion and garlic nice and fine. You wanna sweat your onion and garlic off and add a pinch of salt, some pepper as well and then just stir that around to sweat it off. What I'm looking for is the onion and garlic to become slightly translucent. We're ready for the next stage and that's adding the blended mushrooms and beef. Now I just throw the beef straight into the pan there like that and throw the mushrooms in as well. Now with the back of the spoon, I'm just going to break apart the beef so it blends beautifully with the mushrooms. Now the reason I like to add the mushrooms is they add so much more flavour. That umami flavour, that savoury flavour, and it really picks up a chilli beef dish like this. So while the heat is on nice and high, I just use the back of the spoon to break up the minced meat and blend it with the mushrooms. Now everyone knows I love my meat, but I also love my mushrooms. And if you want to reduce the amount of meat in your diet, why not add a blend of mushrooms? It adds so much flavour. Now I'm just breaking down the last couple of pieces of the mince, and one of the things you'll notice is this lovely juice here. This is the juice from the mushrooms and the beef coming together. This is one of the things I love about this dish, the flavour of the mushrooms and the beef coming together, and all those juices keeps it nice and moist, and that's what it's all about. This looks and smells fantastic. The meat is cooked and the mushrooms have blended beautifully with the meat. Now I'll add some spices. I've got some cumin that goes in there, some chili and some smoked paprika. A good tablespoon of that in there. Now some liquid, just sweat that around for a second just to mix it all in and then the liquid. I've got some red wine and some stock. About a cup and a half of stock goes in there. Pour that in over the top there and then some tomato passata. You can use tin tomatoes if you want, but I love tomato passata. I've also got some red peppers that have been pureed up. That'll help to give it a great flavour and thicken it up as well. So it's a matter of stirring this around till it all comes together, turn it down, let it simmer for about half an hour till it thickens up, and then we'll get on with the next step. This looks great. You can see the blended beef and mushroom and chilli has come together beautifully. It smells fantastic and the mushrooms have gone all the way through. Now we want to add some flavour, so basil and coriander that have been chopped up are perfect. Just roughly chop them and throw them in. And then with a wooden spoon, stir them through. That looks fantastic, smells fantastic, and you know this is gonna be a great dish. Once you've got all the herbs mixed in there, it's a matter of putting the mixture into your favourite baking tray. I'll move that out of the way. And then with the back of the spoon, just smooth it down till it goes into all the edges. Now you can see my mixture here is nice and thick. If you like it a little bit thinner, that's up to you. But thick like this, I reckon, is the best way to do it. Now I'm gonna make my cornbread topping. That is really easy. Two cups of self-raising flour into the bowl, some polenta, a cup of that goes in there, which is cornmeal. And I've got some cooked corn. You can use tin corn if you want. In that goes as well. I've got some olive oil, goes into the bowl here, 
and four eggs. Just throw them straight in like that. You can whisk the eggs up beforehand. And of course, I've got some milk as well. In that goes. A good two cups of milk goes in there. Some rosemary goes in there. Some pepper. And all you need to do is mix it all together nice and gently till there's no lumps. And you can see it's got a great yellow colour. This will go beautifully with my blended chilli and mushroom beef. Once it gets really thick, pour it all over the dish here like this and make sure you get everything out of the bowl and then spread it over carefully, nice and evenly over the top of the chilli bake like that. And you can see it goes all the way to the edges and then you pop it into the oven. 30 minutes, this will be cooked to perfection and it will smell fantastic. It looks fantastic and I reckon it's gonna taste even better. Now with a good spoon, you wanna scoop out some of the mixture on the bottom there and the cornbread on the top, look at that. That smells really, really good. Now, have a little taste of it. Mm. That tastes delicious. A really meaty flavour and a bit of chilli there as well. This is a great way of blending mushrooms and mints together. Great nutrition and great flavour as well. I reckon you should give it a go. It's a little bit spicy. Mm. For more great recipes just like this one, go to blendatarian.com.au, download my ebook, and you'll be tucking into a great dish like this in no time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>